Hi, my name is Matt, and I would like to present to you our new JavaScript unit testing tool called Siesta. If you've ever tried to do JavaScript unit testing, you know it's fairly hard to test things like complex DOM operations, such as drag and drop in the browser. You typically end up doing this yourself, which is a very time-consuming procedure to do with every release of your software. Uh, with our new tool in its current beta shape, you can test things like your own business logic using simple assertions. You can also test keyboard input and simulate complex drag and drop operations, as we'll see in a few minutes. The tool runs in the browser. It can run on Node.js. It can also run headlessly on tools like Phantom.js or other browser simulators. And what you're looking at uh, on the screen here is the simple UI. The left panel uh, is a test container of all the tests in your suite. In the, in the center panel, you'll see the test results very soon. And on, on the top, you have some configuration options that we'll cover in the next section of this webcast series. So to run a test, I simply double click it. And in the center area, you see the results. So here you can see three passing assertions, two failed, another couple of passing ones, and so on. To see what the test is actually doing, you don't have to switch to your IDE, you can just click the view source button, and here's the magic revealed to you right away. So it's, it's fairly straightforward stuff, so I'm not going to go into all the details right now, but you can do assertions like t.ok to test for a truthy value, such as true, anything not being false or null, undefined, empty string, zero, and so on. So as you can see on line nine, we're expecting this one to fail since zero is not regarded as a truthy value. And, and here's the description of this assertion. And if you go back to this, you'll see that this is assertion number four failing. So this is a very simple example. You can play with it. There's more stuff in the bottom that you can uncomment to try it out yourself. You can also use Siesta to detect unexpected global variables. Leaking global variables is very simple in JavaScript. In fact, it's, it's scary how simple it is. So it's very good to have mechanisms like this to help you detect it. So this is a very trivial test which uses jQuery to write some text to the DOM and then verify that it's there. At the end of the test, it will check the global window object to see if there's anything polluting it. So let's view the source. You'll see we tell the test to expect these globals. We do a for, for loop, which is missing the var keyword, and then some assertions. So when we reach t.done, behind the scenes, there will be a, 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 a verification of the window object to see that it's not containing unexpected variables. So you get output like this, global name i. It's actually very useful. We can also use Siesta to test more complex uh, interactions, such as typing into a form field. Such a test could look something like this, uh, a click in the first text field and then typing into each field. And after typing, we can validate that each field contains the expected values. So this test generated quite a bit of output. As you can see here, you have assertions and also you have these colored lines, which indicate uh, a simulation of a user interaction. So it started with a click and then a bunch of key presses and so on. And then we did assertions along the way. And we can hide these if we just want to see the assertions themselves. We can also test clicking of checkboxes very easily. You can see the red circles indicating mouse actions, such as mouse down, mouse up, context menu, and double click. Moving to even more complex scenarios, in XJS4, there is a very powerful grid panel which has editing capabilities. So let's say we wanted to test that in our application. Such a test could look like this. Click one field, click another field, type into those fields, and then verify that the underlying, underlying data store has the expected values. So again, a lot of output, but only two assertions. And then the final test that I want to show you today is a test with dr custom drag and drop. So here's how to do it. It's very simple. You can view the source. We have a drag zone and a drop target. And we can grab cat one from the DOM and instruct 
Siesta to drag it to the cat container. In the callback, we can do verifications and we can also uh, perform new drag operations. So we can gr uh, grab cat number two, also drag it to cat container, and then instruct Siesta that we're done. Uh, we can, for example, test the XJS4 tree panel, which has reordering support uh, to do simple things like moving just one of the nodes and then verify that the, the node was indeed moved. And you can see the events fired here. So that's about it for the first part in this Siesta webcast series. In the next part, we'll do some getting started uh, steps to see how you can write your own tests. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.